Now we come to what Composer is. So this is a main uh, actually uh, section which we would be discussing uh, deeply. So what Composer is. Um, if you have ever written anything in PHP before, you have probably found that it feels like you have to keep reinventing the wheel anytime you want to do a common task. Um, such as user authentication, database management, or request routing, etc. And uh, you know, uh, PHP now has a handful of mature frameworks. Uh, some of them are like Laravel is there, Zend is there, and Coding Tatters is there uh, that have already solved the, m most of these problems. So, won't it be easier to ch like just cherry pick the bits that you needed from each framework? So uh, I think uh, we need to uh, just get something uh, which can resolve our dependence in, dependencies in such a way. So if you are working on framework X and want to switch over to framework Y, so you, you would not need to recreate your dependencies management again and again because every framework has got its kind of architecture and structure. For example, if framework Y has written in such a way which cannot be added or which cannot be admired by framework Y. So you would need to have a dependency management uh, kind of thing reinvented for that framework Y because framework access management dependency management cannot work with framework Y. So uh, if you were to start manually like just picking the bits from you wanted from Zend or Laravel or Symfony then it would become very difficult to manage. Each library might also have uh, kind of dependencies and so you would end up in a mess. Particularly particularly if you are required other people to work on your project. So this is a kind of problem which I actually see with the conventional PHP management. So this is where uh, Composer comes in. So Composer, what it does, Composer is a dependency manager for PHP and Composer will manage the dependencies for you require, uh, required by your project and uh, it will get all the dependencies downloaded to your project. So you would not need any external effort to get your dependencies or what I would say the libraries or external third party APIs which you require. Uh, so everything would be managed by Composer itself. And before using Composer, why would I use Composer instead of Peer or Packer? So um, if I would say that uh, why not Peer? So Peer is just like a complicated piece of thing. So if you are working with Peer, so you just have to add a channel first. Then you have to write the correct combination of characters that makes up the name of the channel and then download that thing. But uh, there could be a chance you forgot something as I studied in earlier uh, slide. So you would need to upgrade the peer installer for latest versions. For example, if I've created a package or package uh, list for peer to get downloaded and for instance, I forgot something like there are several libraries which I need to mention what version actually I would be requiring. So Peer would not get uh, that downloaded for me. So uh, what I would be doing, I'll be just again reinstalling uh, the thing or maybe just starting the, that particular script again to get the download again. So but because uh, again it could be a kind of uh, thing that for all my requirements it, it's, it's mandated that there shouldn't be any kind of uh, what you would say, uh, the beta version should not get downloaded. So this is the thing which cannot be managed by peer. So, but if you talk about the composer, so there are several uh, uh, features and flexibilities which you can work with using composer and it will resolve everything for you.